Hi everybody, this is Kate at Computer Care Kelowna and I want to talk to you today about your Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 or Windows RT on your tablet, your Microsoft account, and the password. Now if you're using anything to do with Windows 8, uh, tablet, laptop, desktop, whatever, you know that you're being prompted each time you fire up your device to log in and put in a password. Now you do need a Microsoft account in order to take advantage of everything that Windows 8 and so on has to offer. There's just no point in arguing about it. That's the way it is. And that password is there for our own protection. Now that said, um, there are times when it can be annoying to be prompted for that password and one of the most frequently asked questions right now when I set up someone's tablet or computer with Windows 8-ish on it is, you mean I have to log in every time I have to put in a password? What's up with that? And my answer is yes, you really do. You have to have a password, but I can make it a little bit easier for you so that you don't have to spend, oh, I don't know, 11, 12 seconds every time putting in a password just to protect yourself. We can make it so that you can use a picture to log in, or you can use a four-digit PIN like you probably have on your banking card or your Visa or any of those other devices. So what you want to do is press the Windows key and the letter C simultaneously. So this is the Windows key here. So you want to press that and the letter C at the same time. And what that's going to do is open up the charms bar here. Then you want to click on settings. And when your settings open up, you want to come over here to accounts and then, hey, sign in options. Because yes, you do need a password, but yes, you do have options. Okay? If you want to use a PIN, that's pretty straightforward. Click on Add underneath PIN now. It's going to prompt you for your password. Because, honestly, we want to make sure it's you. Not, you know, somebody trying to be you. All you need to do here is type in your PIN, type it in again, write it down somewhere where you won't forget it, and click on Finish. Reboot the machine, and the next time it starts up, you're going to be, instead of prompted to enter a password, you'll be prompted to enter the PIN. See, so you've saved, like, I don't know, four or five seconds right away. I mean, that's better, right? I'm just going to cancel out of that because I don't want to pin. I'm still logging in with a password just like we used to in the previous century. Uh, you can use a picture if you want to and that's pretty straightforward. Just click under add a picture. Again, you'll be prompted for your password. Okay, you can choose your own picture or you can use the pretty flowers that are there. Uh, yeah, I could use this picture here. And this works uh, better if you're using a, a tablet or a, if anybody's using a Windows phone um, or some kind of a touch screen. But uh, because that's actually what it was meant for. But even with a mouse, um, you can see what the deal is. You're basically going to draw three patterns, and these are the three patterns that you're going to draw every time. So this may not be much of a time saver, but sometimes it's more entertaining. So my first would be there, my second would be there, and my third would be there. But, I mean, you know, you could do any of those. Then it makes me do it again, here, here, 
and here. All right, I, I successfully remembered. Now I can press finish and uh, and it'll do that. I guess I'm going to have to do that. And then I'll show you how to take it off. Okay, so I've decided I don't want that. I just go to remove and there it is. Now, if I hadn't removed it and then I restarted the machine, you'd be presented with that picture and you'd have to draw those lines every time. In case you forget those lines, or if you're using a pin, in case you forget your pin, at the login screen you'll see options and one of them will be to log in with the password. So don't forget your password. Really, don't forget your password. Don't lose your password. It's a real pain in the neck if you do because you can't get into your computer, never mind your email. Anyway, did you notice down here, password policy? By default, it's set to password required when waking this PC from sleep. And that's where I have it set because this is a PC that I take with me to customers and coffee houses and hotels and wherever I might go. I just want to protect it. But if I didn't, I could click on Change, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to allow that. I say, yes, I'm sure. And now the password is not required when waking this PC from sleep. So for those of you who take a laptop or a tablet to customers or prospects, you're trying to demo something or you're trying to show them something, or you just take the PC to your grandma's house and show her pictures of your dog. Um, you don't want it going to sleep while you're, you know, away from it, just pouring another cup of coffee and having to log in or pin in or picture in every, you know, two minutes that it's idle. You can change that there. It'll still go back out to the lock screen but you won't need a password. Now, one other thing to try uh, when it comes to not getting sort of dumped out, um, if you go to the desktop, and let's take away that big ad for me, if you right click on the desktop, uh, and then you go to Personalize, and then to uh, Screen Saver. There it is, Screen Saver. The other thing that sometimes kicks people out is if the Screen Saver is, <laughs> has a check in this box right here, okay? Even though I, I don't have a Screen Saver, you know, my Screen Saver is just blank, um, it, it, it's going to try to toss me out after two minutes, and if I, if I leave that box the way it is, uh, if I leave that box like that, it's going to show that login screen, and it's probably going to make me log in. Hard to know for sure, but if you've done everything else, then try this. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. You want to set that pretty much to none if you're not using one turn that off, apply that, and then I'm good to go. Okay, and um, that is it for making it easier. Now, I, I know you're, you're, there's some of you out there who still want to know how to bypass it. So I'm going to show you. Press the Windows key and the X. That brings up this menu, and what you want is Command Prompt Admin. And yes, I, I totally agree that that's what I want. And now at the Admin Command Prompt, you type in the word Control, and a space, and then User. passwords to, and no space there, hit enter. And that opens up uh, a hidden part of user accounts, okay? So you want to uh, select the account that you want to not 
have a password for and you want to clear this box right here okay and then you want to say apply and again you've got to enter your password twice so you have to know it enter your password twice click OK just OK your way out of the whole thing restart the machine and you will not will not be prompted for a password make sure you click apply on your way out now you can just exit out of here that's all you need to know that's it that's the whole deal now you've saved yourself some time living with those security prompts and if you really are in a giant hurry now you know how to bypass it now if you have any other questions or you need some help with your computer, please think of us here at Computer Care Kelowna. Have a great day.